Hi everyone, JC here. I'm joined by Joel Levin, mm -hmm. also known as Minecraft Teacher. Hello. So, would you like to like explain the kind of stuff you do for anyone who doesn't know? Um, sure. Well, uh, I am a I am a teacher. I'm a classroom teacher, and for almost two years now, I've been using Minecraft extensively in my class, mostly with younger students, right. uh, seven and eight year olds. But I've also done a little bit in middle school. I also do a high school club and an after school program. Uh, and it's been a really amazing way to get the kids really uh, engaged, excited to come to school, and uh, also do a lot of real schoolwork, a lot of educational content. Yeah. Um, as you know, with Minecraft, you can make anything you want. The only limit is imagination. So uh, it makes a lot of sense for teachers to create their own content as well. Yeah. Uh, you can create historical simulations, you can do stuff with uh, based on science, um, uh, social studies, uh, there, there's a wide range of things you can do. Yeah. Um, and then one of the reasons I'm here is it, it's, um, it's, this started with just me in my own classroom, uh, but you know, Mojang heard about what was going on and they, they wanted to support this idea and keep it going in uh, other schools all around the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's a long story, but the short version is that uh, myself, along with some partners, uh, formed a company that uh, creates Minecraft EDU, uh, which is a, a mod of Minecraft that's designed to work in schools and yeah. fits all the needs of, of teachers. It makes it even more user friendly, mm -hmm. I imagine. As well. Right, because uh, you know, if, you've, if you've run a Minecraft server before, you know there's a lot of, there's a lot yeah. of steps and, yeah. and there's a lot of headaches. And you know, if you're a techie, if you're a gamer, maybe you can figure yeah. it out. But if you are a, a history teacher or a French teacher or a yeah. you know a literature teacher, uh, you know we and want if it's not your field of expertise. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So we wanted to lower the barrier of entry to get a server up and running, know that it's a safe environment that the teacher has control over what the students are doing, yeah. and then we also give them a lot of building tools to create their own content in the mm. game. And then we're also cultivating a large community of, of, of teachers that can share idea and can share maps and can share That's worlds. Right. Yeah. And we're trying to tap into that same spirit that makes Minecraft so special, the community yeah. spirit uh, within within the, the educated educator worlds and it's uh, we are in uh, just under a thousand schools already in, in wow. less than a year uh, and it's it, all over the world yeah. right? on I think we're on six continents we, we haven't cracked Antarctica yet. yeah oh, we're cool. de but we're definitely yeah. yeah we're definitely international um, and you know Mojang has really supported us every step of the way yeah, yeah. awesome awesome so how are you finding Minecon as an experience uh, it's it's been a ton of fun I I, yeah. I went to the one last year I was in Las oh, Vegas yeah. Yeah. Um, I did a panel there as well uh, and it was that was a lot of fun I knew I wanted to come back and this this one I don't know I, I think this one's bigger I think there's more people but they've the way they've structured it it still feels intimate I keep yeah. running into my friends all the time I know it's crazy isn't yeah, it? it's, it's nice. everywhere I turn it's I keep on bumping mm -hmm. into people yeah mm -hmm. it's really cool uh, anything particular you've you've been busy because you've done two panels I, I, I did two panels I, I moderated a panel uh, where there was a, a number of teachers on the panel so right. we talked about what it's like to use Minecraft in the classroom what are what are, what are the benefits why it works uh, and then also you know how to get it into more schools because there's still a lot of resistance uh, yeah. people still view games as a waste of time but there's you know there's a new generation of teachers that grew up playing games that knows there's some fundamental things and it surprises me as well because I hear people um, using the phrase learning through play mm -hmm. a lot, you know, and well, then that's what but then there's some kind of stigma against right. computer games. It's, it's, it's like, true. Oh, but I they mean, don't count well, because it's, you know, right. it's kind you know, of modern I mean, technology, I guess. There's millions of classrooms all over the world where kids are playing with Legos and nobody yeah. disputes, you know, there, there's something about, you know, building something using yeah. sort of a mathematical mindset. And not only that, learning how to share a bag of Legos and, yeah. you know, there, there's some real value there. And, you know, the, the every, you know, everyone listening to this probably is aware of the similarities between uh, Lego and, exactly, and Minecraft. Yeah. So, you know, you, you sort of build on that idea. And, you know, one of my goals is that the word games should not be a dirty word in schools uh, or video games, computer games. Yeah. And, you know, it, attitudes are starting to change. And, and what's even better is there's a lot of real research. There's a lot of science. Yeah being done right now sort of proving that there's some real benefits. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I'd love it if um, how being a troll is bad was yeah. taught 
in every school compulsory. Well, I do that. I it mean, would save everyone a lot if, of problems. If, so if, I'm if, fully supportive of that. Like. Right. Well, I mean, my, in my classes, it's um, you know, it's. No uh, grieving, it's mostly yeah. playing. Well, they're mostly playing. Well, I I don't mind it so much when students. Well, it grieve. depends. Be, it, yeah. Well, because then there's a consequence. I yeah. when if one student does something wrong or inappropriate or or types something hurtful or or steals a, another person's items. Yeah. You know that's an opportunity for me to talk about what's right and wrong when working in a digital space, and yeah. that's that's something that's not typically taught. I mean that's in schools. That's why you have kids, you know, saying horrible things to each other on Facebook or posting naked pictures or... It doesn't feel as real, does right. it? As it? But they've got to learn that it is kind of real. Right. As, I, yeah. I treat our Minecraft world as an extension of our physical classroom yeah. and I have expectations on their behavior, how they treat each other, how they treat me, yeah. to, to match what they're doing in the physical space. Yeah. And that is something that until very recently kids we're not being exposed to in school, yeah. and I think and it's I'm, so important. I think it needs to be taught as well, yeah. Because mm -hmm. well, I mean, <laughs> as a, as a YouTuber, especially when you like YouTube comments, I know, are, I... like you know, the notorious, and so much of it is just like little kids who kind of don't really consider the concept that right. they're talking to real people, you know. Right. And um, it, it really should be kind of taught. Well, I think that's it, a great it's idea. teaching accountability. Uh, schools are great about te keeping teaching accountability. You know, look that in person the in the world. eye and say you're yeah. sorry. But yeah. what if you can't look them in the eye? Yeah. You should still be. She should still say yeah. you're sorry. Yeah. yeah. So that's. So when I work with a younger age group, that's a lot of what we do. We call it digital citizenship in, in mm. my field. It's it's how how we treat each other online. What's public? What's private? How we collaborate together. Mm. Digital citizenship is the umbrella term. Uh, and I when I you know when I work with older students, high school students, or I've even done a little bit with college students. Um, you know, that's there, but that's not the lesson. What what you do is you use it to teach a whole range of 21st century skills. I, yeah. I don't just teach kids to play Minecraft. I teach them to use their enthusiasm for Minecraft to learn how to make a Let's Play, to learn how right, to yeah. uh, modify texture packs, to learn yeah. how to program, to yeah. make their own mods. I mean, yeah. you, you just, the, the key is to use something kids are excited about, in this case, Minecraft, which universally boys and girls all different age groups love this mm. game so use that energy to um, uh, you know teach, really, to um, teach. transferable skills exactly yeah. exactly awesome so. okay so um, is there anything you're looking forward to at Minecon it's coming to an end well now, it's almost so. coming to an end so I'm gonna go to the closing ceremonies yeah. uh, and then the party tonight should be yeah. uh, pretty good uh, cool. You know, I'm getting old. I don't know if I can make it till 4 a.m., but we'll, yeah. uh, we'll see. We'll, <laughs> well see. I heard six. Six? Oh, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I might have misremembered. I'll okay. See. But, yeah. Um, and what, what's been any favorite highlights so far while you've been here? Um, you know, I've just been running around and meeting with people and talking. Yeah. It's been hard. But just, but that's, 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 that's the, the highlight is, yeah. is being able to connect face to face with people you only, you know, maybe Definitely. you only tweet at all yeah. year and then yeah. you get to shake their hands and, you know, go, go have dinner with them. That's, uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, so, cool. Yeah. So on that note, thanks for your time. Great right. to meet you. Absolutely. Thank you. And I'll see you guys later. I'll put links and stuff in the description. If mm -hmm. you're, in, if you're interested in what Joel's talking about, I'll find all your websites and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I'll see you guys later.